No, you're not looking at a beer commercial. It's not even a promo clip of how to start your own brewery. We're going to talk about a serious and rather new concept for doing business. Corporate Social Responsibility, otherwise known as CSR. We've been invited to the Blariwa Brewery in Rwanda, where they are very active with various kinds of CSR activities. Managing Director Sven Pederit explains. We at Braliwa we firmly believe uh, in our role as a corporate responsible citizen. Braliwa is here since 50 years. This year 2009 actually marks the 50th anniversary of our company. In the philosophy of, of Heineken and also Braliwa, we think that Braliwa can play an important role in the economic social development of the country. As we all know, Rwanda is still a relatively poor country with only a small private sector and Braliwa as the biggest company in, uh, in this uh, beautiful place can play an important role by integrating itself in the society. Every time more since, uh, since the last few years we have been integrating more. So, and by this we can play an important role in development of, of our sector and by developing our sector, which is the beverage sector and the manufacturing sector, we develop also the economy. One of the most obvious CSR projects is the hospital clinic at the brewery site. Here we are uh, in the medical center of the brewery where uh, staff, Braille was staff and their families can be treated free. They are treated for, uh, for free and uh, they receive all treatment that we can provide to them here. But if they have uh, like, uh, something we can treat, they can be sent to Kigali or to another hospital and uh, they are treated for free. And why is the brewery doing this for its own staff and their families? For the for Brariba, for the company, it's important for us to have a uh, staff which is in good conditions and we prefer to uh, provide them with this uh, health care so we can be sure that our staff is good treated and uh, is healthy in good conditions and we provide the same to the to the uh, members, to the family members, the spouses, the children, because we want to make sure that everybody is in good conditions. I would like to distinguish a little bit between two areas within CSR, let's say we have the pure, as I call it, CSR, which is, hangs, inclines a little bit more to the, to the charity side. And of course, we're very much engaged in all kinds of activities, like supporting of the genocide memorial, tree planting, uh, schools support, health initiatives. However, the other side, as a commercial company, I think is of equal importance. Braliwa is a, uh, a beer company, a soft drinks company, but of course around us there's a whole spectrum of, of other companies and private entrepreneurs. We used to import all our raw materials, of course, which is costly, which takes a long time and which is not contributing to the, to the local society, to the, to the Rwandese economy. So since a couple of years we have been starting to substitute imported materials with local raw materials, sorghum and now maize. How do we do that? We try to develop maize growing in, in Rwanda. Together with local entrepreneurs we have started a maize growing project. So we have decided to uh, offer prizes to our consumers to promote our beer. Actually, one of the slogans of Primus Beer is share the, a brighter life. So we have decided to uh, share the brighter life, but also share a lighter life with offering solar lamps to most of our consumers. You know, most of them, uh, for those who are living in uh, up country, they don't have electricity. So the solar lamps, we help them to share the light. We're not a charity organization. Of course we do charity, we believe it's part of our philosophy. On the other side we have a company to manage, we have shareholders and we should give an acceptable uh, profit back to the shareholders. So from being an isolated company, working on its own, owning all the, the, the change within, within the sector, we are now more shifting to a model where we work with a company with stakeholders around us which are integrated, which are involved, which follow our example. We try even to follow their examples. And in that way, we deliver a value for the whole sector. So not only a clear profit, but we deliver value for the whole sector. Many of our staff members 
have their children in this school. So it's a school with more than 2,000 school children, but there are also uh, school uh, children from uh, the neighborhood of Brailgua who are not children of our staff members, but who attend this school. And why is it so important for the brewery to support education? This school we are supporting is a primary school and the primary education is one of the priority of uh, the education, national education in Rwanda. So doing this we are participating in the promotion of primary education. And it's also important for us as a, as a company to, uh, to help our staff member giving good education to their uh, children. Many companies view CSR as a kind of charity service and then use it as a PR tool. Managing director Sven Pederit likes to look at it differently. I firmly believe that actually it's in the interest of our company, it's a private interest, to develop our, our sector. And I firmly also believe that this should be the way development should be pushed. It should not be based only on charity. Of course, charity is helping and supporting a lot, but private initiatives will bring the final growth which is necessary to bring the country to another level. It's clear enough that Perliwe and the Heineken company know all about CSR. They have a wide range of activities, as we've already seen, where they support tree growing projects for schools. But there's more. Not only people, but the environment can also benefit from the CSR activities of the company. What we have here is our wastewater treatment plant, which allows us to uh, carry on our production activity in a total respect of the environment, which means that all the water coming from uh, our drinks production is treated here to be cleaned, and um, so it can't have any uh, negative impact on the environment. Respect of the environment we live in is one of our core values, but uh, on the other side, it uh, also, uh, we received also as an industry, we received the recommendations from uh, the government of Rwanda, which uh, recommend us to uh, respect the environment. So with this plant, we are, respecting, we are respecting those recommendations and we are in total respect with our core values. My hopes for the futures would be that our small examples, but let me, because let me be clear, of course we are, uh, we, we, we are a big company and we have, we have small examples, that those small examples will lead to a, uh, an awareness in the society where at, and indeed the, again not only the consumers but also our clients, also our suppliers, also the banks, see this as a way to be socially responsible from a private side, from a corporate side, they will follow the example and of course that the people would be proud to consume our products knowing that the whole sector around this company is in a way corporate socially responsible.